I'm here with Brandon Hall from Renacob Manufacturing. Brandon, this seat control unit was just released for the European market here at the show. Can you tell me what kind of interest you've had from farmers and why? Uh, the interest has been astounding, to be honest with you, uh, across all the markets and kind of all the countries of farming. Uh, people are looking at the seed control unit as a way or a tool to add to their toolbox to help uh, herbicide resistance and glyphosate resistance. Uh, as uh, chemistry is used more and more, it's becoming less and less effective. And in countries as, such as Australia, you have resistance where, where there is no chemistry con to control your weeds. Uh, so the seed control unit really helps to, to control your seed bank in your field. Uh, in other markets such as Germany and the UK, uh, there's some clear government mandates coming that you need to reduce or eliminate the use of glyphosate in your field. Now we need to give farmers a tool in their toolbox to help control those weeds without chemistry. So I understand that, that this mounted on the back of the combine reduces up to 98% of weed seeds and volunteer crops um, that are active yes. coming out of the combine. So um, can you just explain a little bit about how the system works? So what we've done is we've taken our knowledge that we, we have from building straw choppers for the last 30 years and put it into this. Uh, we use high wind velocity generated from our fan blades in the top. These spin at roughly 3000 RPM and it accelerates those seeds into an impact surface. And we have rotational components inside that continue to accelerate that crop or that, that weed seed, um, and it, it needs to bounce around inside this cage in order to meet the exit. Now we found that if you can hit that seed four times, you can knock the germination out of it and that seed will not germinate the next spring. Okay, thank you Brandon.